To this point, we have been working with rather simple limits. The methods we have been using for solving these simple limits have been fine. However, we will need better tools for solving more complex limits. So let's start with some notation. Recall we use the variable c to represent the value we were finding the limit for. f of x is a function whose solution is a as x approaches c. And g of x is also a function whose solution is b. We will also write x arrow c for x approaches c. Again, f of x equals a and g of x equals b as x approaches c. Good? Now let's start with the additive rule. The additive rule states that if you take the limit of multiple functions added together, the limit equals the sum of the individual limits. We'll practice this right away before introducing the other rules. Here, we will find the limit of x squared minus 2x as x approaches 2. We will choose to assign x squared as f of x and 2x of, as g of x. The limit of f of x equals x squared as x approaches 2 is 4. And the limit for g of x equals 2x as x approaches 2 is also 4. In this particular case, we also have to apply the negative sign to g of x, which would make the limit negative 4. 4 plus negative 4 equals 0, which we can verify graphically. Good? Okay, let's try the product rule. The product rule isn't much different from the additive rule. Instead of adding two functions, we multiply them. We also multiply their limits as well. The quotient rule of limits is really the same, only we divide the limits instead of multiplying. The quotient rule also has an exception for b equals zero, which would result in a zero in the denominator. We'll use the same f of x and g of x from our last example to demonstrate this. Only this time we will multiply and divide instead of subtracting. 4 times negative 4 equals negative 16, and 4 divided by negative 4 equals negative 1. One last rule to introduce for now. This is the exponential rule. If g of x is raised to an exponent, then its limit is also raised to the same exponent. g of x equals 2x, and g of x squared equals 4x squared. b squared equals 16, just as we would expect. Hope you enjoyed this lecture from freeacademy.com. Please visit our website for more lectures and to support free education.